Well, hello there, friends. You're listening to Mastering the Task Exam with me, Mr. Abe Tasconi. Today's task science lesson is Ecosystems and Organization. Here's today's test tip for the task exam. Don't stay quiet when you're in class. Ask your teacher lots of questions. You'll want to make sure you understand the information being presented. I guarantee you the questions you have are shared by other students in your class. By becoming a leader and speaking up, you'll not only help yourself, but you'll also help your fellow classmates. So today we're going to talk about the importance of community. Communities are important because it allows individuals within a specific area to help each other and provide support as a collective group. Throughout history, communities have made the impossible possible. Communities have helped large numbers of people survive the most terrible things, either natural or human-made. Community creates resilience and has the power to help large groups of people not only survive, but thrive. In science, communities are equally important. These communities are called ecosystems. An ecosystem consists of an area where a large number of plants, animals, and microorganisms live, along with their physical environment, which would include things like soil, air, and bodies of water. Now the Earth is one massive ecosystem. It's known as a biosphere which is really just a fancy way of saying it's a world in which various life forms exist together. While the Earth is one large ecosystem, there are smaller ecosystems, things like ponds, meadows, and woods, contained within a biosphere. For an ecosystem to be healthy and happy, there needs to be a lot of diversity within these smaller communities. To understand this concept, we have what's known as a food web. A food web contains all of the various organisms within a particular ecosystem, and it shows the feeding relationship of all the organisms that live there. A food chain is just one link or path for energy in a food web. The arrows on a food web and food chain represent the transfer of energy. So a food chain needs three things to be complete. There needs to be producers, who make their own food. Consumers, they depend on producers for their energy. And then finally, we have decomposers. They depend on dead organisms for their energy. Of the three, producers are the most valuable players. So remember back on the video about plant and animal cell processes? Thanks to the sun, plants produce their own energy. That's why we call them producers. Consumers depend on producers. Consumers would include things like insects and animals. Even if an animal doesn't eat plants, it eats insects or other animals that have eaten plants. Without producers, There'd be no consumers, which means there'd be no us. Last but not least, we have decomposers. Decomposers are living things, such as bacteria, fungi, insects, and worms, that feed on plants and animals that have died, and then breaks down the plant and animal matter into simpler substances. So now that we know the three things needed in a food chain, Let's look at the food chain on the right. At the bottom, we have the plant, which is the producer. Remember, producers get their energy from the sun. The grasshopper is a consumer. It gets its energy from eating the plant. The mouse is a consumer and needs energy too, so it eats the grasshopper. The owl is also a consumer, so it eats the mouse for its energy needs. 
Now it's time for the decomposers, which are the cleanup crew, to step in and get their energy. So when the owl dies, the decomposers feed on the body of the dead owl. They do this until the body is broken down and returned to the soil. It's all about balance. Removing just one species from an ecosystem disrupts and destroys nature's balance within that community. I encourage each of you to research nature conservation. Each of us have an important role to play in making sure the world around us is happy and healthy. And that, my friends, is nature's version of community called an ecosystem. All right. You know the drill. Go back and rewatch this video until you feel comfortable with the information that was discussed today. Also, don't forget to click the link in the description box to take you to the Quizlet over today's lesson. Remember, always ask questions in class. It's time to be fearless and become the leader that you were born to be. Stay safe, friends, and keep on studying. I'd like to thank Chris Matthews for providing the music for this program. To Valerie Jeffers for co-producing, to Marion University and the Blue Umbrella for making this series possible, along with all the other teachers, townships, and adult basic education programs who help inspire adult learners reach for the stars. Mr. Abe Tasconi is the alter ego of me, David Taylor. If you have any questions about the task exam or if you'd like to try some more of my quizzes, please email me at tasktestquestions at gmail.com. This has been a Jeffers and Taylor production. See you next time.